Welcome back to Brain Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. This is Soul Flow from over on Soul Flow TV. You can go and subscribe to my bigger channel, which is Soul Flow TV on YouTube. Okay, now I don't wish this on anyone, and I can only imagine what they must be going through. Shout out to John Legend and his wife. We send our condolences at the loss of their little one. I can only imagine that they are grieving. His wife, Chrissy Teigen, she put out on social media that we are shocked and we are in the kind of deep pain that you only hear about. The kind of pain we've never felt before. This is in her own words as she put it out on social media. It has over 10 million views and likes already. She said that we're shocked and we're in deep, kind of deep pain you only hear about. The kind of pain we've never felt before. We were never able to stop the bleeding and give our baby the fluids he needed. Despite bags and bags of blood transfusions, it just wasn't enough. We never decided on our baby's names until the last possible moment after they're born, just before we leave the hospital. But we, for some reason, had started to call this little guy in my belly, Jack. So we will always be Jack to us. Jack worked so hard to be a part of our little family and we will, he will be forever a part of their family that is. To our Jack, I'm sorry that the first few moments of your life were met with so many complications that we couldn't give you the home you needed to survive. We will always love you. Thank you to everyone who has been sending us positive energy, thoughts, and prayers. We feel all of your love and truly appreciate you. We are so grateful for the life that we have, for our wonderful babies Luna and Miles, for all the amazing things we've been able to experience, but every day can't be full of sunshine. On this darkest of days, we will grieve. We will cry our eyes out. But we will hug and love each other harder and get through it, right? So in a sense, she eulogized the baby. She apologized to the baby for a harsh experience and for not being able to provide enough of whatever was required for the baby to survive. Kind of like blaming oneself or taking responsibility for your half of why the baby did not survive. Of course, a lot of people are going to say, Chrissy, it had nothing to do with you and John. It is what it is. And it's hard and we wish you the best. But let her go through her grieving process. However, she is going to make it through is what I would say. Tegan, who is John's wife, she is also a TV presenter and a model, and she has been documenting her pregnancy on social media. She has taken to a hospital on Sunday due to excessive bleeding, but had reassured her fans that she and the baby were healthy. That was at the time when she was taken to the hospital, right? She was taken for excessive bleeding, but she had reassured her fans that her and the baby were healthy. In her latest post, however, she revealed that we were never able to stop the bleeding and give this baby the fluids that he needed, thanked her followers, and of course, eulogized the baby after. John Legend, who is 41, is a multiple Grammy winning artist whose 2013 track, All of Me, a song he dedicated to his wife, spent 92 weeks in the UK singles chart and it topped the top 100 chart and spent some time at the number one spot there as well. Just a little FYI and background, the net worth of John's wife, which is Chrissy, is $11 million estimated and John's net worth as of 2020 is estimated at about $45 million. So they're wealthy financially and I'm sure they can afford the best lawyers, the best care teams, the best doctors, the best of everything that they need. However, 
money was not enough to save their baby. And I'm sure no one wants to go through this ever. I can only imagine it being a painful process. Carrying a child to full term and then losing that child. That is, has to be something painful. You're leaving the hospital without a baby that you went into the hospital expecting for everything to be okay. And you're walking out without the baby. Now, the couple were flooded with messages from condolences and support on social media with many praising their strength for sharing their grief and some recounting their own experiences of loss. Chrissy has already detailed before that uh, the other two babies they have were brought about by IVF in vitro fertilization. She had also expressed that she had a weak placenta and that her child, um, her child bearing process or getting pregnant has been difficult for her. So it was like having miracle babies. This baby, however, was not an in vitro fertilization baby. This baby, she revealed, was done through the natural process. Okay, now the couple flooded with all well wishes and everything. I know many other women like me who also have experienced miscarriages appreciate you sharing your story to help this all too common occurrence, help others to understand this all too common occurrence. Another person wrote that we lost twins at 20 weeks and your bravery for sharing this can hopefully sh slow people to know they are not alone. Kim Kardashian West was among the celebrities who sent messages writing, we're always here for you and we love you guys so much. Actress Viola Davis, she said big virtual hugs of love, love, love. While socialite Paris Hilton said she was so sorry for their loss. Actress Gabrielle Union added, we love you guys so much and we will be here for whatever y'all need always. So it's that time. They're going through it and they need all the love and support and that's about it. I can also imagine that they need space and time to grieve, to get through the process and to get back on track, right? Okay, conspiracy theories. The baby was a sacrifice. The baby was a sacrifice because you do not exist at the top of the charts. You do not become a part of the wealthy and all the fame and media attention who is controlled by the wealthy. You do not become a part of that without making sacrifices. And you know, conspiracy has it out there that they have to sacrifice a family member. They have to sacrifice a child. They have to sacrifice someone that's close to them. Blood sacrifices are required, etc., etc., and they're looking at it from that angle. I cannot be that insensitive to say that that is my belief right now. Right now, I can only imagine, me being a parent myself, what they must be actually going through, and I hope that I never experience that as well. Leave your comments in the comment section below and we'll talk more about this in the comment section. It's BrainFlow TV. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.